Hello there, how's it going? How's it going? I'm happy to be with you. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm adjusting my microphone, hence the extraneous noise. But I think we'll be a um, heading in the opposite direction of that noise now, and heading into Happy Land. Well, that is, except for Stulotza Kand, who are currently experiencing plague. A mechanic of the old Medieval 2 game that uh, apparently the devs of this mod tried to stamp out, but failed to, at least in many respects. Apparently it no longer produces uh, any meaningful population decline, though it does impact the garrison. And the old uh, mechanic for spreading the disease through troop movements and stuff like that is also intact. Yeah. So, if sickness arises in our settlements, we will have to leave them be. And uh, perhaps invest in some good public health infrastructure. Um, wherever available. So you know what, I'm going to build some public fountains immediately. And uh, we're going to see if we can get the better of that particular problem. <laughs> Speaking of getting rid of particular problems, Prince Atrahil is going for Lest, the capital of Rune, after we have already taken Mistrand, the formerly capital city of Rune. Formerly the capital city of Rune. And in addition to that, Mistor is heading to En Mahath, no, sorry, he's heading north of Enmahath to uh, Bur Imanarikis, I believe it, the name is. Varfist has been taken, and Namir is on the warpath. And, oh, who do we meet? Who do we see? Ukramar is whom we see. So let's start the episode by just beating them into the dirt. Uh, yes, we shall assail them with flaming rocks and flying arrows. And plenty of them, because this is a pretty... Uh, Range heavy army. Let them have it, man. A snowy day, a snowy day, a snowy day in Rune. Soon it will snow upon the enemies with arrows, and that won't be a moment too soon. Though, nah, it'll be more of a hailstorm than uh, snow, I think. You know, let's put our rangers up here. We can form a front with our uh, lovely, lovely uh, veterans of Ascilioth, and then um, we'll grab all of our pole arms and we'll put them in a line in front of them. Trebuchets, stand back behind the archers, and then just fire at everything, anything and everything that might come your way. The Wardens of the White Tower, yeah, let's put them around here so that they can respond to any threat that our. that, that will be undoubtedly faced by our uh, rangers. We'll keep about some spearmen as well, just in case. Uh, yeah. Because there might be cavalry afoot. And we have our heaviest knights on the right flank. We have some uh, additional forks. And that's it. The game begins. <sighs> bombery, 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 bard them. Yeah, the rangers are really effective. They just are. It's wonderful to see. And so with lancers, eh, you'll just come around this way. Ouch. Some flaming corpses indicate that here have indeed fallen many, many of the enemy already. 11% of their army. Most of them to our arrows, though. Let's see what this cavalry unit does. Or what they do, I should say. Ouch. Focus on the hunters, dear friends. More dragon riders. We can shoot at them from afar. 
And now, with our cavalry out here, they are likely to target them. Or, no, they're going for the wardens. Alright. Tribesmen already running. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Battle, 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 battle. Oh, hello, Dragon Raiders. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and the others, they're fleeing straight into <laughs> trebuchet fire. Oh, my lord. And speaking of fleeing into trebuchet fire. Yeah. yeah I think you can sort of uh, stop what you're doing there, mates. Um... We're shooting them rather efficiently, boys. We're shooting them very well. Shooting them up, shooting them down, shooting them straight to hell. Well, even though hell isn't really much of a thing in this universe, but you know what I mean. Oh, hello. Catch them, turn around and face them. Army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All right, everybody stop! Everybody stop! So we don't shoot anybody up. That shouldn't be shut up, 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 up. No, shut or shot up. Well, you can do both. Today we want to do neither. Our men can yell as loudly as they want to. <laughs> Especially if it means they win the battle. And uh, currently, that seems to be no real problem. There it goes, Captain Ukrima. This is a clear victory. Congratulations to the Rangers for killing the most people. This bloodthirsty competition has been concluded in their favour. Smack them back and let them pay. Vanquish the enemy. Vanquish the enemy. Oh. So, we have to go until the runic borderlands before we actually see an army of theirs. And a territorial presence of theirs. Hmm. And dear, continue. Do you have some additional troops that could just be leveraged at Varfest to liberate Kamen from administrative duties that seem to be suiting him... Well, okay, I guess. But he's more of a... Yeah, he's an inefficient administrator, so yeah, it's not really his style, this whole thing. So can we do something? Well, we do have some troops at uh, the Moranon. Um, I am contemplating particularly the fate of all of these lads. You know what, we could take a bunch of these. Candir can go this way. I shall continue tomorrow. Your will, my lord. We'll definitely get all the pikemen we can. And um My Lord. As you wish. We can go no further. We'll today. go with that. We'll make camp here. Our resources financially and otherwise are becoming quite palpable. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Darband. You need a library, and the uh, mayorman needs to go out into the darkness and build a tower. And perhaps build even more towers. Like that. Oh no. Darband is going to have some riots, maybe. Well, maybe. Maybe. We might actually affect the outcome of that a tiny bit simply by well, Let us sit up camp. building that library it's possible we won't have camp. any problems 70% isn't too bad it's not 50 
50 is bad. 50 is really bad. Um, right. Ah, that's wheel. Build a tower here. And a tower there. Extend line of sight so we can see everywhere. Let us set up camp here. Out of order. Let us set up camp here. I mean, we could just try to waltz in and take Daz Gurum. At the moment, though, we're fine. We're just trading with Kand, and we could just keep doing that for a while. Hmm. Time for a new turn, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Um, do we have one more oh, navy? Nah. Ships riding. Yeah. Mariners, awaiting your command. Nah, we just a Belector. Marching upwards, but he needs more turns. So, another turn is what we're looking for. That will push us forward. Husbands! Hello, Miles, dear. Come to me. You seem to make, like a decent guy. Dutiful, trusting, honest, Dunedin, Ambrosian. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, fine. Bathon, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna grab a Therian, though. Gonna get all the swordsman skills as we can. Doggle door besieged. Okay, we shall see how that goes. Um, Ready your weapons. Protect the blood of I want you to go to Tirstalos. No, sorry, that was Minister. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There you go. Okay, Badhan takes a dip. Tirstalos gets a boost. Life is fine with either. We just need him to. Uh, Learn the secrets of his post. We have cities to upgrade. And that extends to Faultburg, which will now become a lovely place to look at. Branon goes for Grog. And. Belector journeys north. He's also a bit of an insurance policy, you might say. He will ensure that any armies in this area, of Dunland or otherwise, will not feel so confident in invading us. Because, well, we've got elite armies sitting right up their border. What else? Um, oh, way stations. Way stations are cool. I like them. Princess Stables, definitely a step in the right direction. Um, do we have the cultural heft? to do more? We do! So, night's lodgings please, siege works then, some roads, farming, stuff that makes people happy. We want people to come to Oibamari, it's gonna be a lovely time. The tourism board hasn't quite cut an up and running, but don't let that get you down. You're surely going to have the time of your life. Building income 500. We still get that. Lumberyard. 
Yeah, yeah, we must be getting that, yeah. Mm. Fair game, then. Um... Starband has not rebelled. Lovely. <laughs> Trade roads for the Moranon. Not, I mean, this is one of the least valuable trade settlements in the entire game, but. Eh. I know. If it works, it works. Oscuria oh, getting all the good stuff. Nice. And anything else? Better gear. Shall I get a guard barracks? Will this provide? No, it will not provide the axemen of Lazano or anything like that. No. Fun though that would be. Alavor. Ah, come to Varfest, have you? Well, that's nice. Um, okay. Let's have a look at this then. At weapons. the moment, I'll just send you around Onward. building things. Protect the blood of Numenor. Your will, my lord. And the Salvan goes this way. Come on, dear. Smack! Oh, we could even attack this lad over here. What do you say, Namir? Is that a definition of a good time for you? I think it just might be, because then we can take out half the army that they have in the area right now, and leave the other half for later. And that should ensure minimal losses in the overall campaign. These riders shall go Fire to Ubermari. Uh, well, they can't be retrained though, because there is a horseman's guild, not a weapons guild. Let us set up camp here. Jump, jump. Of Gondor. Forward. Marchmen. Let us set up camp here. Mistrand is beginning to come into re the recruitment Ready swing of things. And, um... Maintain well, Adrahil marches on. And you know what? Mistor going for Buda Minaricus is fine, but misguided. So we shan't. <laughs> Instead, we might send them into this absolute suicide mission of just dealing with everybody around. Um, I will not waste words on you. What do you say, Miss Dor? Are you I will not waste words man for taking on armies of thousands? Because we should probably do that from the outside. They're not great troops, though. <sighs> Neither are these. They're more, more of a sieging force, to be honest. So there's part of me that just wants to send them all over here and keep them guessing, you know? So you can take on Bordem and Narikis. Namir can take on Kursh. Then Amandir with this army, would uh, he would be great at taking out all this because he's got so much heavy cavalry that he can ride rings around them. And he still has a few melee troops and ranged troops to take care of the nitty and the gritty. I think that's what we're going to do. But first... Oh. Well, 
Ah, the plan then becomes Mistor besieges and Namir attacks. And then pins a movement right in the face. It's going to be good. And the military build-up on the board is uh, staggering, actually. Just full banner army, one after the other. Hmm. They must feel threatened. Maintain order. Forward. Let us set up camp here. And here we Let move on to the fall of Rauros. I would love to see an army actually traversing this. Let us set up camp here. On foot. Mostly, I would just say, no, that's not going to work. But for the purposes of this game, apparently there's an invisible oh, bridge. <laughs> yes. Retraining here, retraining there, a bit of retraining... Wherever we can, because we care. Hmm. Ready your weapons. Captain of Gondor. Captain of Gondor. <laughs> yeah. Are we then ready for everything? Awaiting your command. Um, I guess we're about as ready as we're gonna be. Matram, though, I feel like this place needs reinforcements. Protect the blood of Numenor. Soon we'll be able to retrain our cavalry, though, which will be a glorious day. More of those, please. Tereth, yes, give me those. Give me those pikes. I like them, I like them. Quite a lot of military spending, but um, I think you'll find it's all completely justified. <laughs> Awaiting your command. Okay. Um, here we go. You Back and here we just building towers, extending sight range. It's gonna just March pay off dividends. Day. Believe you Let me. Set up camp here. Okay, we come to turn 154, and never has it been more possible to corner a whole bunch of dragons. First of all, we put spies in their towns. Plenty of spies there. How is their public order, by the way? Plus 300. Nah, okay. Hard to affect that, apparently. But, what Miss Dora can definitely do is say hello to these guys. Now, it is going to be Amandir's job to eventually move beyond that. So we're going to do like that. Very good. Miss Dor, can you besiege that place? Yes, you can. You just need to do it yourself and then have the others catch up. Right. Then, um, I think I'll be happy bringing in Amandir just around here. Just to throw a weight around, that's basically what that is. Um, so first of all, smack him back gone, get him gone, and then... Oh dear. <laughs> and then Bordemonarchus can surely fall. Cornering the dragon. That's basically what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah, we are protecting the blood of Numenoid. Look at what we're doing here. Blood of Monarchus is about to fall to three major armies all at once. And, um... They don't have all that. So, goodbye. 440 people? Huh. Oh well. Um... 
And then, uh, the galley. Goodbye. We have vanquished the enemy. Ready to expand, he gets a lance bearer. Hmm, how nice. So, uh, the plan is to send Amandir on to Enmahath. And then we will also be sending... Nistor North into the Windan Forest, which I believe must be held by the enemy by now. Protect the blood of Numenor. Onward. Let us set up camp here. It is indeed. Orders. Ready your weapons. Slay them. Namir. Smack down Bartan. Yes. Grand. Heldenur. Will you stew at all? Um, you can then build. Yeah. Stuff that makes the place grow a bit. The armor is actually less of a priority to me. Lynn here. Ah. Upgradable. Dependable. And, uh, not quite incorruptible, but we'll get there. <laughs> Inlet Garden. Yeah, just continue doing what you're doing. Move to headquarters. Good to see. More of those lads. You know what? Those castle units cannot be retrained around here. My lord. Your will, my lord. Well, these ones are not castle units necessarily, but uh, a lot here that Orders. can only be retrained in castles. So we might as well send them to places that can outfit March them. Brannon, oh yes, you have to deal with Grog, don't you? <laughs> For that, yeah. Bregnus, you've got what you've got. Um, and when you get the princess stables, that'll be great. So lots of can get fountains, but it did not stem the public health quite crisis quite. So, can also build some public baths. Hopefully that'll help. Tends to speed things up in the uh, curing disease department. Branon, you have a beautiful little army, and you will use it well. Believe me. Protect the blood of Numenor. I certainly believe Grog in you. You have to deal with Grog, and Grog has, um, well, has a lot of Urukai and some wardens and some people and some orcs and some various troops. It's gonna be fun. Don't you worry, Branon. You are a great commander. For the white city. We fight upon the slopes of a hill. And what a hill it is. Fountain Guard are present. Look at them. Look, you know, splendid as they are. Um, thinking if we put these like that, and then we can put these in a nice even line. Trebuchets in behind those. Put our general up upon the hill. And the service one 
further down, should still be able to do quite a lot of um, good work from there. And then we have our sort of heavy swordsman. Uh oh! They've decided that uh, marching at us like men is just not their style. Well, they are orcs, so. At least mainly. Okay, they decided to come at us. Okay. Good, good. Trebuchets, start doing your lovely, lovely work. Okay, that's uh, overshooting them by uh, a margin, let's say. Um... We'll have to be quite awake for this one. Victory will be ours. But so far so good. 10% of them gone. Quite a few of them walk marauders. Knight to the service one. I want you guys to charge into the archers. We'll see how that goes. I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah, you guys just uh, smack into those, and we'll bring our royal swan guard with their speed and strength. We'll bring them to bear upon uh, that bastard crew that's sitting somewhere around here. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. Okay, the rest of our cavalry on this flank will be tasked with utterly demolishing the spear guard, which would be possible, you'd think. So we will make good on that. Okay, how are we doing? Reavers coming in, okay. And we support. Let's see this charge. Ooh! A very nice one there. So we will have to withdraw from the infantry because those guys are nasty. In pitched battle against cavalry forces, they can do quite a lot of damage. But our archers are rightly targeting their pikemen. How are we doing against those spearmen? Oh, we're doing fine. Reavers here. No trouble. So far, very good. 3% of our troops have been killed. Uh, whereas 50% of theirs have died, so can't say I'm unhappy. Warden to the White Tower the comes his way. There are some pikemen I want you to meet. We've got all the Caspian killed. This should unravel their battle plan quite quickly. Charge. 
They ought to be commended for not breaking so easily. And yet, they do break. That we see. Oh, the guards of Asgillith are just walking in on their uh, opponents. And everybody's fail. displaying the party. This is a clear victory. Very, very good, very, very good. Losing a few troops, but losing a few cannot be avoided in such big battles. And I would say we've come away with it with far fewer scars than could have been. And quite a bit of experience boost when you look at the board here at the end. Trebuchet is gaining, Lance is gaining. Fountain Guard gaining. Yeah, pretty good all round. Enemy camp has been sacked and uh, Branon can just continue to Gorgas. So he can't get there this turn. But it'll be good when he does. So that we can rid Bregnas of the curse of devastation that has been upon the land for too long. Way too long. Eisenrun is in need of building projects. It's also in need of more Dunedain people. So uh, let's get some of those. And then uh, we'll build an armorer and stuff like that. Train a spy, why not? It's a good thing to do, I think. Um, I also need to send more troops for retraining in various places. Eventually we might get them retrained in the Orthanc, but that's not now. That is not today. It is not this day. This day we yes. don't. We can go no further today. <sighs> uh, that would have been no quite a different today. speech now, would it? Uh, My Lord. Spy going to Varfest, and that's where the party will be. Cameron, how are you doing? You can leave Varfest behind all right. We just need sufficient people in place for it to be productive. So. These are all prime candidates for moving out. Yeah. And these are all prime candidates for going with them. Oh, but there are too many prime pack candidates. Oh, oof, spoiled for choice we are. So this, 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 this. This? Oh, goodness, deselect them. But that will be good enough. Yeah. The rest of you are going to Barfest. Retrain where able. And then Kamen can just move on. Safe in the knowledge that um, the blood of he can build towers wherever he pleases. As long as it's within our borders, of course. Your will, my lord. Shall another turn. Your no, no, we shall come to Lest. That's what we're going to do. Hello, Kalya. We're going to put ourselves over here. Marchmen. And we're going to say hello to Arash. And Yazur comes to his aid. Just like we'd love him to do. So, time to rid them of another capital, don't you say? Break their will. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Today's battle is pretty crucial, but it's one that we have the ability to win. All knights and cavalry come this way.
Shallow Knights, just run a bit. Our enemy has an, a numerically and qualitatively inferior force, and the enemies are coming in from the flank. This is spicy. We'll see how we handle it, but I think we'll be okay. The main objective is to completely eliminate the armies before us. We'll eliminate their cavalry. We'll eliminate the spearmen. Man, this is a bit of a chaos blob, isn't it? The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh goodness, the Ravenian riders are basically already gone. Uh, or at least halfway gone. <laughs> Let's continue focusing on the mercenaries. Only half the enemy force remains. The spearmen are breaking, the mercenaries are quaking, and Team 2 moves on to opportunities new. And so do the mariners. Alright. Out here, though. Out here, we are stoned. Immaculate. And we run down the dragon and break every bone in its body. Oh dear, no, that's a bit of a... Well, not a terrible scenario, but just a slightly shitty one. But this one is good. Bodyguard redu reduced to basically nil. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. And that should help break the spirit of the dragon guard. Hello, Gamblim. Come this way. I have some talents for you. Pursue and run them down. Infantry. One spearman running over here. Let's quickly make status. Uh, dragon guard there. Good. All right. Let's bring our cavalry to bear. Khan Erash, the leader of his people, taken out in such a nondescript way. Look at him, bodyguard, charging straight into a faction leader. Of course, we will not stand for such low treatment of our most important members of family. Though we will want to keep his morale sort of intact at the moment, I guess. So we won't charge him down before having first dealt with most of their infantry. Remains. So we will completely enclose him 
a huge pile of armor. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. And there he goes. No, charge them properly. Though they may break anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're starting to break now. Good. Gumbrim, last one standing, it seems. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Good work, uh, my liege. You have once again commanded your army effectively. Um. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. And there went the last of them. The Nimradel Mariners, topping some charts here. Well done, sirs. Very well done. Healing mostly lancers. Okay, good, good, good. No complaints there. Especially if we can take the town. So, let's see. Oh dear. Farewell to them all. And hello to Lest. We shall take control of this place through amicable means. So, where is their capital now? Oh, it's Saint Anui. Oh dear. <laughs> it's their most recently captured place, and it has now become their de facto capital because they have basically nothing else left. That isn't being, you know, where I'm not uh, immediately breathing down their necks. What a life. Awaiting your command. Onward! Let us set up camp. Maintain order. Forward. Let us set up camp here. Your orders. What do you say, guys? Do you want to cease fire now? No, no, you just don't. Though we must bring words with me. Yes. Stopping here. If only I could. I shall continue tomorrow. All right. Um. So far, though, very, very good results. And out of four. Go to far first. Learn the ropes of good governance, will you? And here we have already sort of commissioned most of what is truly relevant to us. Have we done so at home as well? Sort of, yeah. Your will, my lord. Yes. Getting some retraining going would be a good idea, though. My so let's do that. Will, Protect the blood of Numenor. Okay, okay. One more turn, and I think this episode will be uh, cannibal. As in, you know, we'll be able to ca uh, get it in the can, so to speak. Or consider it in the can. And then, um, yeah, inst instead of being like a cannibal. I'm, I'm not accusing anybody here of cannibalism, okay? Just so you know. Don't want, wouldn't want that kind of endorsement on my record. <laughs> uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Goody goody. Uh, Edras, do you have some retrainables? Nah, not really. Entwade, what about you? Well, you have some trainables. And Altborg, you have very good trainables. And Belechtir. 
will cast a bit of light in these lands. Let us set up camp here. Turn 155. Is it time? Is it good? Is it a wonderful day to be alive? Yes, it is. Hello, Eowyn, or apparently, uh... Taineth? Taineth. Taineth? Taineth. Taineth. <laughs> How exactly that w name works, will we ever know? Perhaps not. But what we do know is that Maimon will build a tower. And he will build another one. And we see Darwinian merchants trading with our rivals. When they could so easily be trading with us. Don't we have the nicest labor camps? Do, uh, really? I mean, is that it? You just you're so hell bent on uh, civil rights abuses that you just go, yeah, we're gonna go with uh, with canned the human traffickers on this one. Yeah, you disgust me, Darwinian. You disgust me. Chase, please. Cavalry this way. And on the home front, let's just get all this out of the way. We are spending so much money. We're actually sort of losing money. You know, we were in the 200,000s now. We've just dipped into the 19. <laughs> uh, or the, you know, the small 1-9s, as it were. But we're getting rangers in Umbar. How are we to say no? I like the rangers so much. I just, uh, I want an entire army that's nothing but rangers. Maybe that's what uh, we should do. We should make a Gondor campaign, and then we should uh, grab Faramir. We should make sure he doesn't die, obviously, because he's a pretty squishy general as they come, being, you know, a ranger. And uh, then we should um, get Gondor up to speed, you know, kick Mordor in the head and all that good stuff. And then once that is done rather quickly, because quickly is the ideal speed, then um, we would just put together a huge army of rangers. Like, full banner ranger army. And then have... Faramir, captain of Gondor. Show his quality. As it were. Seems like a potentially fun thing to do. Um, just like in the Lothlorien campaign, plug, plug, where we... Uh, put together, you know, we have had uh, Hald... The blood of oh, was it Haldir? I think it was. Awaiting your command. Haldir with his, Arch with his um, uh, Galathrim archers. And... My lord. Yes. Well, what did we do? You know, we took those Galathrim archers, those oh, highest Lord. level archers of... Uh, of, of Galadriel's realm. Archmen. And we basically just um, put together a full banner, full stack of nothing but Galathrim archers. And uh, did a very similar thing for Celeborn, although he also got uh, quite a few of his uh, bespoke uh, bodyguard, the mighty uh, spearman archer that they have. Beryl and Galath. There we go. That's the name I was looking for. I hope my search wasn't too painful for you all. <laughs> uh, three Garth is retraining troops, and it is good to see. Three Garth is retraining troops, and it is good to see. It is very good to see. It is very good to see. It is even better to be. Hmm. Orders. 
think we should certainly try to put some of the heavier troops into a fort. Then we can send a few of those that might retrain it up there. And uh, the three guards, they go. And Kurnia, you know, actually, you should probably go to Ginyard. They can retrain this match, and they can probably even more. So, let's do that. And then we have Branon, ready to close us out by eliminating the last vestiges of Isengard's presence in Middle-earth. The White Hand is now stomped out completely. Oh, but they don't go out without a fight, because they've got trolls. Cave trolls! Branon, you can do it. Everybody. Make the enemies die. A horrible death. A horrible death. A horrible death. Make the enemies die. A horrible death. A horrible death, just like um, the kind that happens when you get a big trebuchet blast in your head. Please. I have to move forward quite a bit because our archers won't be able to fire over your heads otherwise. So. Right, there's some trolls over there. Uh, we have a duty to try to stamp them out with as much fire and brimstone as possible. Archers, I want you to focus on pikemen. No, pikemen. Pikemen's good. Pikemen, pikemen, pikemen. Oh, that's a, that's a nasty one. The pikemen and the trolls are the most important units that they have. So we might as well make the world a nasty place for them. White fly! Okay, Wardens of the White Tower, you've got to tangle with those trolls, I think. But the good thing is, you'll be assisted by the Knights of the Silver Swan. And um, here we'll just uh, target, uh, not the archers, just keep targeting the pikemen actually. Here, yeah, they've been crushed. Okay, how are we doing against those trolls then? Well, they haven't started dropping yet, but maybe that's okay. Oh, the berserkers. Those are nasty, don't like him. They have a bit of armor on them. So uncharacteristic. But there you go. Ah, now the trolls start dropping. Nice. Not that I want to hear anything about troll droppings, okay? There's just, there's some things best in, in Tolkien's Legendarium, best left to the human imagination. Or better yet, not imagined at all. Bloody trolls. Okay, how are we doing here? Or thank wardens? Yeah. They have lost half their men. Rather thankless to deal with they are, but we will make it.
One troll remaining. Good work. Very good work. Berserkers wavering. Surely not. Fountain Guard have held immensely well. And our trebuchets can stop, our yeah, archers can stop. Like That's basically, I mean, or well maybe, nah, we should still be shooting the pike, I think. We should have gauged them with a drastically hurt melee unit, such as the White Tower Wardens over there. Well Run so down the Rangers. The rest of his army. Gorgaz is gone. Run down the troops that are running away. While shooting at the pikemen. We just want to weaken them as much as possible. Make them really unhappy about how life is treating them. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah. Stop shooting, my friends. You've all done enough. If we continue like this, and we I think these wardens can. Yeah, they did rout them. Good, it's good. They lose a couple, but they routed the enemy. They stayed strong. And they took out the uh, Uruks of Isengard. Whom can now be run down by cavalry that will benefit immensely from the experience that they gain. Be awed by the victory Very nice. Won here today. Very good. Thank you so much. The blood of okay, Branon, you have done it. And somehow the alliance between us, Gondor, and <laughs> Inetwyth, it has held. So if we look at this, Harad gone, canned in a corner. Rune going down, Mordor gone, Dolgaldur going down, Isengard very gone, the lendings near confined, I'd say. Breland doing good, Rohan doing well, okay, and <laughs> they're not dead at least. Gondor getting back on their feet, Dale doing fine, Erebor doing fine. Dorwinian doing fine. Anduin Vale doing a bit less than fine, perhaps. Ered Lewin doing fine. Casadum doing fine. Hyles doing fine. Lothlorien. Not great, but fine. Woodland Realm, fine. Edwith. Boxed in a bit, but fine. So all in all. No, oh, the spawning pool doing nothing um yeah so all in all i think we can call ourselves the masters of middle earth can't we yeah we just need to kick rune in the teeth finally which and that is something we will happily do We just need Goldang to get a move on. To get a Goldang move on. But now he's legged up with Cameron, so we'll hold him responsible. He'll go to Enmahath. Amandir will go to Enmahath. Here's what I'm thinking with Arazuil. Of course, we're going to build a little tower here and there. I mean, how else are we going to keep an eye on this? Uh, Ulworth over here. Ooh, actually, speaking of that, Ulworth. We have a single merchant, don't we? Yeah, he's down there in Amber. Did we get another one? He's in Amrun. Mm, well, 
he might actually be able to take on this mercantile genius of Uruas. My lord, the Sultan will not let me trade with enemies such as you. A little acquisition. At or, yes. As you command. Whose business even more likely. Them, and sire. even better positioned on your to order, take them out. Sire. Good. Awaiting your command. And you might ask, what else needs doing now? Just from... Actually, that question is very easy to answer. All that needs doing is for me to wish you a lovely day. So be kind to yourself, be good to others. I hope you enjoyed our little foray into the Dolamroth campaign. And, um, well, failing all else, then you can click a link on the screen and uh, I will see you soon.